Hey there, it's Adrian from Numero Uno Web Solutions. And for a second, I just want you to imagine a scenario where every single visitor that comes to your website encounters content that is just so valuable that they're compelled to engage even further with your business. So this just isn't an ideal scenario. It's an actual tangible reality that small businesses can achieve by mastering what I call the four E's content. And in this video, I'm going to reveal what those four E's are, and then I'll do a deep dive into how they can transform your content strategy and transform your business. Okay, let's go. Now, these four E's form a strategic framework that's tailor-made to address the unique challenges faced by small businesses in content marketing. By adopting these four pillars, you can reap the rewards. You'll build trust and credibility by delivering educational content that allows SMBs to position themselves as industry authorities and foster trust within their audiences. You can increase customer engagement by crafting content that's both interactive and entertaining, which enhances customer relationships, promoting sustainable engagement. It'll help drive conversions. Content that empowers consumers can help them make informed purchasing decisions and that can boost your conversion rates. It helps optimize your marketing ROI because when it's executed well, a content marketing strategy rooted in these four E's can surpass the returns of traditional advertising efforts and basically bolster your overall profitability. And most importantly, it will help enhance your brand reputation. Consistent application of the four E's not only elevates brand image, but also strengthens public perception, which paves the way for long-term success. So without further ado, let's go to the first E. The first E is to educate your audience. Educational content acts as a cornerstone in content marketing, providing your audience with valuable insights about your industry, your products, and your services. Its primary role is to position your business or you as a credible authority, trusted for its knowledge and expertise. Now, this type of content not only builds trust and credibility, but it also cultivates a loyal customer base by delivering meaningful solutions and insights. So how do you implement educational content strategies? Well, there's many ways. For example, you can do how-to guides. You can create maybe like detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. It's a powerful way to educate your audience. They can help your customers understand how to use your products or services and address common issues they might encounter. So for an example, an HVAC contractor might provide a guide on how to change an air filter while a like a cooking equipment retailer could offer instructions on preparing the perfect steak. Another way is webinars and workshops. You can conduct online sessions that will allow for direct engagement in the sharing of comprehensive knowledge with your audience. You know, you can cover a wide range of topics, product demonstrations or discussions on the latest industry trend. So for example, if you're a financial advisor, you could do a webinar on retirement planning, or even like if you're a personal trainer, you could run a workshop on how to do an effective home workout. Another great way is doing informative blog posts and doing them regularly. You should be always updating your blog with posts on relevant industry topics. It's a great way to establish your business thought leader and you're consistently delivering valuable content. It can help attract and retain customers. Of course, it's also good for SEO. So for example, if you're a dental clinic, you post articles about oral hygiene tips. If you're a landscaping business, provide insights on the best gardening practices. So when you're writing educational content, you want to maximize the impact impact of it and, and here's some tips to keep in mind when you're doing that. You want to be clear and concise. Use clear straightforward language. Avoid industry jargon to make your content accessible. Remember, you're speaking to your customers. You're not speaking to people who are already in your industry or colleagues or coworkers or anything like that. Visual appeal is great too. Support your text with visuals like infographics or images and videos. That helps enhance the understanding and the engagement. Remember to have actionable advice. So provide practical tips and clear steps that your customers can apply for themselves. You want to be consistent. Always be publishing on a regular schedule. Keep your audience engaged. Make sure they're even looking forward to more content from you. And you also want to focus on your audience. So tailor your content to address the specific needs and interests of your specific target audience to ensure it resonates and provides value. Okay, the second E is engage your audience. Engaging content is crucial for sparking audience interaction and participation. It moves beyond passive consumption, of compelling viewers act, share their thoughts, interact with your business. The primary goal is to fortify with customers, amplify brand loyalty, and expand your social media presence and reach. So here's some ways that you can engage 
engage through interactive content and social media. One great way is doing interactive quizzes and polls because these tools not only entertain, but they also gather valuable insights into customer preferences through active participation. So an example is a local bookstore that might have a what's your reading personality quiz on their social media, and then they'll offer book recommendations based on user responses. There's also user generated content campaigns. This is where you encourage your customers to create and share content related to your brand. So this strategy fosters a sense of community and authenticity. So a great example is a cafe that would invite uh, their customers to share photos of their favorite dishes using a unique hashtag. And then maybe that the best submission would be featured on the social media platform. Another good one is the social media challenges. Uh, you can craft shareable, engaging challenges that resonate with your brand and encourage a wide participation. So take for example, a pet supply store that could have a pet trick challenge. So they invite their customers to share videos of their pets performing a trick and the best one wins a month supply of dog treats. Here's another one that takes a little bit more thought, but uh, you can try the live Q and A sessions. So these would be like live interactions where customers can directly engage with you or your business. They can ask questions and then get immediate responses. It's a great way to engage with your customers. So for example, if you're a local tax consultant, you could host a live stream to address common tax related questions, you know, during those tax seasons and you can demonstrate your expertise and approachability and could also help you get some future customers. So here are some uh, tips for maximizing engagement with your content. First of all, know your audience. I've said this in past videos. You do have a target audience. You don't want to be throwing anything into the wall and hoping it sticks. You want to make sure you identify the engagement styles that resonate with your specific customers and tailor that content to match those preferences. You want to maintain consistency, develop a regular schedule for releasing engaging content to build anticipation, and foster routine interactions. You also want to respond promptly and this goes back to the Q&A. So you want to be respectful to your audience and respectful of their input by engaging with them quickly and that's going to encourage future interactions. Of course, you want to deliver value. Clearly articulate the benefits of participating in your engagement activities, whether they provide informational, entertaining or tangible rewards. And finally, you want to measure and adapt. So you want to use you know the metrics to determine what works and refine your strategies based on these insights. So this could be the amount of people who are entering the contest or showing up to the Q&A or even if you have a large amount that show up to the Q&A, how many questions are you actually getting? Use that to help then improve as you move on. Okay, the third E is the most fun one. It's uh, entertain your audience. Entertaining content is crafted to amuse, delight, and captivate your audience. It forges a positive emotional bond with your brand. This type of content makes your business more memorable and approachable, setting you apart from competitors. Think tick talk okay so encouraging customers to engage more frequently and enthusiastically with your brand entertaining content will enhance the overall brand experience and it'll foster deeper customer relationships so here's ways to implement entertainment strategies in your content marketing for your small to mid-sized business so great one is storytelling share stories that resonate with your audience reflect your brand's values making your content more relatable and engaging so for example let's go back to a coffee shop they might produce a video series detailing the journey of their coffee beans from the farm to the cup, emphasizing the people, the farmers, and all the processes involved. Of course, there's humorous content. You know, you're creating lighthearted posts, memes, videos that reflect your brand's personality and entertain your audience. Hardware store, for example, could produce a series of humorous DIY fail videos, providing tips on how to avoid common mistakes. Behind the scene glimpses. These are great. In my opinion, these are fantastic. I think a lot of people really like to watch these. You offer a peek into the inner workings of your business. Uh, it can help humanize your brand and increase transparency. A bakery, for example, is a great way or anything that has to do with food. Uh, you show some time lapse video of cake designs or stuff being baked or food being prepared. It's a really good way to engage with the customers and keep them entertained because it's also very shareable. And there's also uh, interactive challenges. So you can have design activities that are fun and encourage audience participation and sharing. Let's go back to that bookstore example. They might have a book spine poetry challenge, inviting customers to create and share poems using the title of books from their shelves. It's, it's pretty cute. So here's some tips for uh, successful entertaining content. Now, stay true to your brand voice. Ensure all your entertaining content aligns with your brand personality and values. There's nothing more cringeworthy than seeing something that doesn't match up with the brand 
brand is. So it's an ultra serious brand that goes funny. It's one thing, but it has to stay true to that brand. Don't go way off base just to elicit a response. Balance your entertainment with relevance. So while entertaining, you should always tie content back to your products, or your service, your industry, your company, whatever it is, you should always have a connection. Encourage sharing. And this is ultra important because obviously you want things to be shared across multiple accounts. So craft that content, make sure it's share worthy, expand your reach. Be timely. Leverage current trends and events appropriately while being mindful to avoid controversial topics. And of course, also being timely, you want to see what's trending as far as audio, because sometimes something can show up, a meme could show up that would work really well with your brand. You want to jump on that quickly. And finally, you want to monitor and adapt. Keep an eye on how your audience reacts to different content types and adjust your strategy accordingly. You know, you do that by just seeing how many, how much engagement you get, how much likes you get, how many shares you get. Keep an eye on that track that and then you'll see what works and you'll see what doesn't. Okay, now before I get into the fourth E, let me just pivot to another letter which is L which stands for like. So if you're liking this video please let me know below and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more helpful small business and digital marketing advice. Okay finally the fourth E which is empower your audience with actionable content. So empowering content equips your audience with the tools with the knowledge and the confidence necessary to make informed decisions. This type of content goes beyond education by enabling customers to take action or solve problems and that boost your confidence or boost your audience confidence in your brand and positions your business as a valuable ally in their success. So here's some strategies for creating empowering content for small to mid-sized business marketing. Comprehensive guides and tutorials. So you want to develop in-depth resources that guide customers through complex uh, processes or decisions related to your products or services. An example is a home automation company it can provide a detailed guide on setting up a smart home system covering everything from choosing to devices to troubleshooting. You want to give your customers decision-making tools. These are really valuable. Uh, you offer interactive tools that assist customers in making choices tailored to their specific needs. So that financial services firm might create an online calculator that helps users identify the best savings plans on their financial situation and goals. You see the banks do this a lot. Uh, you see a lot of companies do this where it's almost just like a quick five-minute tutorial or or a step-by-step -step thing where at the end an option comes up for the customer to take action. Of course expert advice and consultations provide personalized guidance through one-on-one -on -one sessions or expert-led Q&A forums. A nutritionist could offer free 15-minute consultations to help potential clients understand how tailored plans uh, can meet their health needs. And community forums. You establish a platform where your customers can exchange experiences, post questions, provide peer support with your business moderating and contributing expert advice. So imagine a garden supply store, for example, that hosts an online forum for gardeners of all skill levels to discuss uh, techniques, problems, uh, share photos of some of the vegetables they're growing or the flowers that they've grown. And then it's all moderated by that gardening supply store. So that way they can sort of throw in their two cents worth as well. So some tips for creating effective, empowering content. You want to be comprehensive. So you ensure your content thoroughly covers all relevant aspects of the topic. And this is great because the more you bring up, the more content you're actually writing and the more valuable it is to your potential customer. Encourage action. So include clear actionable steps that your audience can immediately undertake. You want to leave them with something that they can use themselves after they finish either reading or watching your content. Use real life examples if you can, and I recommend this immensely, incorporate case studies or customer success stories to demonstrate the practical application of your advice. Maintain relevance, of course, regularly updating your content. I can't say this enough. Ensure it remains current and applicable. You know, stuff you maybe did three, four years ago don't doesn't resonate anymore. So make sure that you uh, keep everything current and offer ongoing support. So this is really valuable too that not a lot of companies do. Establish a support system for follow-up or continued assistance to your customers, your website visitors. This will reinforce the empowerment that your content provides. So there you have it, the four E's of content. I'm going to read 
repeat them here, educate, engage, entertain, and empower. Put them to use in your website's content strategy to help boost your website's effectiveness for getting more customers. And for more tips on how to drive more business to your website, check out this video that reveals a content hack that can actually help boost your website traffic and conversion.